And uh, of course, we're now entering the fourth quarter of the Bobby Dupre Show. We have a few more pictures to show, several more pictures. But uh, I want to uh, first uh, thank uh, the young man who spoke with me and directed me around uh, the museum that uh, I visited in Natchitoches, uh, Sean uh, Ryder. Mm -hmm. uh, he's a curator there and uh, really knows his stuff. Uh, I was, he's uh, already at our Rodgers of St. Leonard Parish, isn't I didn't, he? I didn't ask him. I, I don't think so. But we'll have to we call have a, him and find we, out. That's correct. We have a lot of... <laughs> of but uh, Sean uh, is a good person. When you go there, if you're looking for a particular... I was looking... I was in a hurry, and I was looking for the high school boxing. Mm -hmm. And he explained to me just how to get there. Then I, it was so putty that I had to See walk the around sure. and real fast. But it's, a, it's about a three or four hour... Uh, walk around slow, and then you go to the, what, what you call those little devices again? A kiosk. Kiosk. Mm -hmm. And you press that name, and it'll give a history of that particular person. Instead of having to have a museum 400 miles long, they can put it smaller where you can look up the information as you go. And this Slick. young man right here in the picture that you show on here. Yes, sir that we are showing to the world right now mm -hmm. is Brother Michael David. I said, oh, you are a real monk. He says, well, certainly I am. <laughs> and uh, I'd seen him up the street, and he, had, he moves around. He lives uh, right in that area, and a uh, very intelligent young man, I might add. Uh, mm -hmm. Don't think I, I had a card left to give him, so he's probably oh, not you able know who, to watch wow, it. Wow, you know who that is, really? He's an artist. I don't know if you've ever seen any of his work. That just clicked in my head when you said the name. It, it clicked. He, he's a very well-known artist and has a lot of his artwork shown at the Louisiana School for Arts, Sciences, and Math. So Ooh, now I'm sorry, I brother, got it. brother David. I know uh, exactly who that is. We were, we were kind of concerned about were you a real one. We you know, are a you real, real person deal. and, a, well, sure, and a real a well artist. A well-respected artist. We got it. And here we go. I see you, you went on, on the campus there at Northwest. And, of course, the three right. columns being the symbol of the university. I guess it's the old house that it's... That, that's the only thing I think they see was the old columns. And then you wonder why I'm taking an exit picture uh, on I-49 of mm -hmm. Clutcheville. Well, there's a little story there, and I'm going to cut it quick. The first racehorse I bought, Tracy and I went to Clutcheville. We visited Mr. Lawrence Cornahan in the large general merchandise store that was sitting over the, uh, the, the bayou there. And uh, we, I, we purchased, I purchased uh, Bob's Whiz Ann, brought the horse back, didn't have a place to keep it. The Lestraps family on Park Avenue had a little old time barn in the back of their house on a small lot. Let me keep it there. They cried when I took Bob's whiz and over to my new ranch on uh, Highway 190 across from Richard's uh, club there. Mm -hmm. uh, ne next to where Charlie Dore had the salvage yard. Certainly. I had bought 40 acres. In fact, traded 40 acres of land with the home that uh, Adelaide and I had on Berto Avenue. Charlie had the home, so anyhow, we, we, we made a I trade. I got it, I understand. We I took understand care it of it. So, let's move on because- We are, we that's, that's the rule. Let's see, we got, uh, oh, that's that, that's that billing that you and Barry Mitchell almost bought one we, time. Let me tell you, <laughs> th to the, that's the best- That's the best- Best billing you never bought. <laughs> best billing I never bought. It's still standing. I don't think it's ever really been used, and that was what, 10 years ago? Mm -hmm. At least 10 years ago. At least 10. I mean, it's a beautiful we, facility. We, we set our bidding up to 400000 When it got to 400 plus, we backed off of it. It went to a million dollars. I think those investors out of Atlanta that bought it never made the payment on it, and it's been auctioned uh, mm -hmm. or advertised for sale a few times. But uh, rodeo, our feet got cold. Rodeo, arena, they tried for shopping. Oh, it's never, they've never it, made it go, but it's a beautiful building. We could have made it go. There but you go. But we got on to other. Uh, and there's a new then statue. I, then I stopped by in Washington. At Immaculate Conception I, Church. I wanted to look at two things, and, and I wanted to get fountain. this water fountain that I mm -hmm. knew was operable right. and uh, was donated by the Jesse Howard family, Excellent. Howard Pool Howard Company. Poole. Anybody so, knows water, it's them. That's correct. <laughs> And a very religious family, very mm. Catholic family. Oh, and, and then I had read about the joint project among Town School and South University Ag Center. Southern University. Southern yeah. University. Yeah, they, they, they got a misprint. South, yes, right. Southern. 
Uh, but it got nice planners <laughs> all around the city of all Washington. All down the main street in Washington. Congratulations to you, uh, and, Mayor Joe Pete, and, and, and uh, council members and the city citizens. I own a facility that there's a planter right near me. And that's Three Mile Lake with a little sun. We're going to come back to photos as soon as I hit these two sponsors. So Targill Seasoning, if you're looking for seasoning, kitchen supply, baking, caking, pieing supplies, they've got all that too. Uh, all your butcher cutlery as well. Go by if you're a restaurant, if you're a grocery store, if you're a guy that just cooks on the weekends, if you've got the camp type cooking, if you're a caterer, all the stuff that you need. If you want to take classes, if you're an adult taking classes or a child taking classes, they've got all sorts of classes constantly, competitions. Go to Facebook and look for the Targill information or Targill.com. Go by and they'll do custom seasoning blends for you, help you sell your own seasoning recipes. And they've also got recipes they can help you put together. Maybe you want to use the seasoning as a promotional device, as a sales device, or maybe just a complimentary thing. Maybe I know people do it at family reunions. They've got grandpa's old recipe for seasoning. They make it all together. They put a picture of the whole family on the can and they give that out as part of the family reunion. Go by. And the last sponsor, St. Landry Homestead. St. Landry Homestead Bank right there in Opus is building a brand new location in Port Barry. Updating the old location is what they're doing because yep. uh, they've been in Port Barry for quite a few years. Going back to Mr. Ray Thibodeau, who I remember as a very young man. Of course, Kip Bertrand is the I don't know what the, I guess, president of, of the bank, of uh, the, bank. the main bank. Right. Uh, and then Harold Totsi Carrier. Uh, on the board for help years, move, one of your partners. Help make that uh, branch uh, available uh, in, in Port, Port Barry. Barry. Absolutely, yep. and still serves on, on the board on today. On the board, yes. Um, and served as interim president while they uh, went out and found Kip. That's right. So good connections your all memory, throughout. Your member's pretty uh, good today. You must have slept bad. long last night. I ate some fish night. this week. You know, you eat fish as brain food. Oh. Uh, you can go by and, and get all your banking needs. Uh, if times are tight for you right now, the homestead has been around long enough. They know what tight times are. They've helped a lot of their customers get through it. Go by. They can help you out. They've also got the big video boards around uh, the main branch. If you go around right there on, uh, what is that, uh, Groley Street, you can see a lot of services that they offer, including their mobile app, where you can do all your banking on your smartphone. Don't have to have the full-blown computer. You can transfer your money, make your deposits, write checks, pay your bills, all right from your phone using the St. Larry Homestead Savings Bank app. Suppose your check isn't good when you put it in there. Oh, then it'll come back like anything it, else. Like anything else? Like okay. any time when you bring the piece of paper, it's the same thing. All right. Just, just, just all right, here sure. we go. We got the lake over here at Three Mile. We got Gidry's Cajun Kitchen. This was over when y'all were out there. There at uh, the, uh, at, on the uh, fishing uh -huh. rodeo, and uh, we had a beautiful home that they've uh, they leased uh, last year for this mm -hmm. event, and again this year, and I hope we can get it look the him, next few years. Look all years. them pretty fish y'all got. Yep, that's what we had caught. And, and here's this young this lady. This is young lady, Amanda. Amanda finished, she attended uh, elementary school, fifth and sixth grade at Groley Elementary no while kid. she was living in Opelousas. Cool. She was supposed to send me some information. I uh, haven't received it yet. She wanted to know if I knew her grandfather in the Lambert family. Uh, it's not. Uh -huh. It's not the Julius Lambert. It's, it's not that. It's not. Her the, grandmother would be Mary Lambert. How's that? I'll bet you. Okay. If I had to double check. Okay. Well, we'll figure it out. Well, Worked at the hospital, she, maybe, or something. I, I, I don't. Didn't get to talk hmm. to her too much. She was the night manager there, and but very, very again, very helpful. We'll find out. Re, she's the person that helped me get an internet service on my cell phone. There you go. She went to Safari. Safari. I, I had Fixed never used up. Safari. I didn't know there was a Safari in my phone. You can but get it. But here you go. Everybody sitting out on the beautiful uh, yeah. deck there, I guess. And there's porch. the bicycle rider of the bicycle wow. riders. Mr. Leroy Richard. Back it up one picture. Yep. The man in the kind of orange, orange shirt. Mm -hmm. uh, my fishing partner uh, for several years. Uh, Oh, shoot. Anyhow, my fishing partner for several years. I'll think It'll of it in up. a minute. Yep. But but Mr. Leroy is a bicycle rider. And I don't know if people really realize that he rides those, what they call those, uh, recumbent, what do they say, when you kind of ride almost on your back. And I want to tell you, he was in a race where you ride, ride as far as you can ride until the time's up. I think the time was 24 hours. He rode a bicycle like 24 hours. I mean, that's more than Lance Armstrong rides a bicycle. 24 hours. And I know he was over 50 years old the last time he competed in that, that kind of race. I mean, you're not talking about a baby out there. Oh, no. I'd ride anybody in the world. He's one of the best bicyclists in the country when he walks at in, any age. When he walks in, all of us ask him almost simultaneously, 
Did you ride your bike? <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, he, he's, he's unreal a, a, as an athlete and comes to retreat with us every couple of years. So, right. Uh, and uh, there's Jimmy. Mr. And, and standing is uh, Dean. Dean. Oh, yeah, look, Ballera. Dean's cutting up with Dean, Frankie. Dean, Dean is, uh, our, was our guide, uh, and he's married to the Lee Young And I daughter. think if, if you want to go to Toledo Bend, you can contact uh, Leanne. Uh, uh, Leanne. At? Or at, I guess probably through the country club might be the best place, or through Creative Travel, oh, creative probably. Travel, and yes. she'll hook you up with Dean, and he'll he'll take you. Yep, it's fun. And there's a uh, Benny uh, Desertel in the background. I saw him again. But we hadn't seen each other about a month, and we see each other every day lately. We're just uh, looking how, how pretty the whole area is there. Oh, it's beautiful. Um, it's going up and down the hills. Nah, and this is Sunday night. The, oh. that, that's the leader town. Yep, uh, that, that's the T-shirt from the hardware supply. T-shirt from the hardware supply store. Uh, and that's the front of it. And, and that's, that's the green screen. That's what we actually work and do the TV show in front of, a shot in the studio. And that's all our photos. I actually got 144 photos in one show. Man, that's almost a record. That's almost. gotta be almost a record. Patrick Wayne Richard, another recent uh, death. Mm -hmm. uh, we called him Pat, Pat Richard. He was a lawn calf for my brother, Cody, when, and Wilder when he, when he lived in uh, Opelousas for many, many years. And of course, his brother, uh, graduated from school with me, Glenn Richard. His uh, brother, uh, J.C., a retired postman, is, survives him, as well as other members of the family. Those are the ones I knew well. Miss Wanda uh, Hogruder Gotro. Uh, she was uh, married uh, to, I guess that was uh, Chief uh, uh, Doucette. Uh, Chief Doucette. Hmm. Cat's son. Uh, Oh, um, oh, Harold, Harold, I Harold. Go. I think that, anyhow, her son is Johnny uh, Doucette, and she has uh, two daughters, uh, Pat Doucette Leger, Ronnie du uh, Leger's uh, wife, and Harriet Doucette Lafitte of Scott, so, and grandchildren and great-grandchildren. Our deepest sympathy. And uh, then one other one, I had not seen this man in years. He was, at one time, he served uh, one or two terms uh, as a Polish juror on the north end of uh, St. Landry Parish, Lee Richard. Our sympathies to his family. There you go. And what about your buddy right here? Man, D.L. Menard, Rolling Stone magazine, picked the 100 greatest country music songs of all time. And don't you know, number 72 is La Porte en Arrière. And I mean, it's my most favorite song in the world. Uh, I, I really, you know, of all Cajun songs. I cut uh, it, that it, out for you. Oh, it, it's more popular. I mean, Jolie Blanc is on the list too, don't get me wrong, but it's further back on the list. I mean, it just, it's one of the most heavily recorded and re-recorded songs of all time. What about this cold case in Opelousas? Yeah, uh, there was a, what they thought was just a hit and run of a gentleman on a bicycle, and they determined it was perhaps first degree murder instead some years later. And the uh, bad part about it is families, uh, this connections, to, connections between, between the, two families, the two families, that it was a revenge thing and connected and yeah, it's not good. It's, it's, not, it's not good. In fact, <coughs> the chief has, has asked them to please uh, not take this out in their, against into their own each hands, other right. into their own hands. Let, Let the, the law, law proceed. It. Absolutely. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Oh, where's your prayer? Is that, is that the fourth? That's the end. Fourth quarter? We're at the war. Okay. Uh, this weekend, as uh, we do each weekend, we ask you to consider attending the church of your prayer, of your choice. I'm sorry. And uh, the prayer or thought is, my father, make me understand always what you say and accomplish what you wish. Thank you for viewing. Thank you for telling a friend. And thank you, Andrew, thank for you. assisting.